To draw a transformer, we needed to find each of the windings of the transformer using an inductor symbol. So let's go ahead and place two inductors side by side in our schematic. If we want to see the phase dot of these inductors, we can right click on the inductor symbol, check show phase dot, click OK. And we can then also reorientate and move and position these as we need to in our schematic by using the rotate and or mirror command to lay things out the way we want in terms of the phase dot. We may also need to go ahead and move some of these uh, symbols and uh, values around just to kind of line things up a little bit. And once we've done that, we can now then place it in the slot I've already pre-drawn here before for the uh, transformer. When coupled inductors are used as transformer windings, individual winding inductances rather than the turns ratio need to be specified. Therefore, the inductance ratio needs to be set to be proportional to the square of the turns ratio. So let's say in our example we want a 1 to 3 turns ratio. We square that, we get a 1 to 9 inductance ratio, which now allows us to go ahead and select 1 micro Henry and 9 micro Henrys for our two values of inductance for this transformer. Likewise, if the primary is modeled with, say, 16 microhenries and the secondary is modeled with one microhenry. We can now view that as a 4 to 1 uh, turns ratio by taking the square root of the inductance ratio. Once you have drawn and defined each transformer winding as an inductor with the appropriate inductance ratio, the next step is to include a mutual inductance statement. Mutual inductance is designated in SPICE by beginning the first word of a new line with the letter K. To specify the mutual inductance ratio for the inductors we have defined, we need to insert a SPICE directive into our diagram. So let's go and click the dot op command on the menu. And again, as I mentioned before, the first uh, label on this new line will be K. And then we need to define the inductors that we're using to simulate the uh, transformer, so L1 in our case L2 and the last entry in the case statement is the mutual coupling coefficient. This is on a scale from 0 to 1 where 1 means perfect coupling between the inductors, in other words no leakage inductance. Since leakage uh, is usually not desired in a practical circuit it's easier and, and truly sufficient to ignore leakage inductance by setting the value to 1 especially for your initial simulations and then you can vary off from that if need be. Once we click OK, we can now place that on our schematic. And at this point, we have completed modeling our transformer.